What's up, Hollywood Bound actors? Happy Monday. Happy Monday night. I'm here in my office slash studio. So it depends on which way you turn. It's depending on what you're getting here. All my private clients know this area right here. <laughs> but listen, what's up? This isn't really an actor's daily bread. I just was like deciding to pop on. I'm looking cray. I just took off my wig. It's been one of them days where I had to switch hair multiple times. So what's up to y'all? Happy, happy Monday. What's good, Terrence? What's good, John Brunson? What's good? Listen, what's up, Tanisha? Tanisha, does that say that right? Like Tanisha? Listen, I'm just literally setting up to tape an audition. As you can see, I got my lights. My These are not the cowboy lights. They're like a knockoff of the cowboy lighting system. So if you look online under cowboy lighting system, check it out. If you are um, behind and haven't taken my five-part series on YouTube, it's on YouTube. It's a free series called Self Tape Tips. Um, check it out. I don't need all these lights on yet. I ain't recording yet. I just put those on so you can see me. What's up? Happy Monday. Listen, so... <sighs> I just wanted to come on, say hi, put a little energy in your spirit. You know, we're pilot season's just kicking off. Today was one of those beautifully busy days where I had to like cancel some appointments so I could take on a few more. And as I was setting up here, getting ready to tape, I just was reminded of just wanting to check in with you guys. For those of you who don't have your self tape game set up yet, what are you waiting for? Don't wait. Don't wait. I'm getting ready to tape an audition where my character's a little you know, run down. So I'm letting myself get run down. <laughs> I love when characters go in reverse. Only my ladies going to really feel me on that. I love when the characters go in reverse so I can glam down. But let me sit down for a second. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, hey, happy Monday. Let me know what you guys are working on. What burning questions do you have this week? Uh, today was, is this technically my office hours. I do a uh, open office hours on the fourth Monday of every month. And my assistant makes a thread in the Facebook group, but I haven't checked it yet. So if you have a question about anything or something you're working on or want to get some feedback, I might be able to pop on this week and do some more lives, cater to your questions. So even if you're watching the replay, to all my replay watchers, what's up? Replay watchers, love you guys. Um, so for those of you who have a question or something you felt stuck on or need a kick in the butt, Put a comment below in the, on this video, and I'll check back. Tag me, if you will. That way I, you can make sure that I see it. But, um, yeah, make sure, you know, if you, don't have a, if you don't have a piece of big paper, get you a gray sheet, get you a blue sheet, get you a baby blue sheet, depending on your uh, complexion. But, yeah, the easiest thing to do is to check out that five-part series. Also, you can go to bookmorework.com com bookmorework.com that's also a little smorgasbord of free training in there there's no excuse listen what's up nagi what's up nagi killing him there's no excuse it's 2019 my word for this year is domination when i did the webinar at the top of the year i told you guys i'm not playing with y'all today was one of them days the night is it's not over it's almost eight o'clock here in la and i got two auditions to tape tonight because i got to work tomorrow so kill it don't sleep don't feel like it's just january i cannot believe like this is the last week of january so this is not the time to sit back and linger how can you step it up what accent can you be working on what self-tape technique can you switch it up on do you have your necessary go-to costumes for your for your roles you know do you have your army outfit you got your lawyer outfit you got your homeless person outfit like what do you have Put it all together. Get it now so that that is not the stuff that stresses you out in the moment. Like tonight, let me make sure I got stuff exposed. Tonight, <laughs> you know, some of the stuff I have to tape, is it varies, but everything is already in my, in my wheelhouse here. Yes, Tunisia, domination. That's the word. And listen, you can't dominate nothing if you're not prepared. You know, so many of us, we have moments where we feel like we're not prepared or we lack a little confidence. And a lot of times that's not because we don't have the talent or the desire. It's because we legit, we legit in that moment don't feel prepared enough. So we lack confidence and then it spills over into our, into our performance. 
And let me just say, give you this word for the night before I go study. A little tip. I've shared this tip with many of you guys often. What's up, Ernest? I've shared this tip with you guys often. When you get these last minute auditions, look, it's pilot season and it's episodic season at the same time. So all the shows that are already on the air are popping right now. So make sure you're checking in with your t representation. If you have it, let them know when you're booked out. Don't do the okie doke, right? Um, but when you get these last minute auditions, you know, I type them out. What's that? Oh, that's old. That's Lethal Weapon. Y'all can see that. I'll, um, <laughs> Did y'all see me on Lethal Weapon a couple weeks ago? I didn't even know it was coming on. That's how busy it's been. But I'll take my, I'll type stuff out and then I tape it to different areas of my room. So when I'm going to keep twirling on y'all. So when I'm standing over there, got my lights and I don't have time to memorize it because I have like two auditions that need to be taped within two hours. I tape stuff to the wall. But there's a caveat to that. If you suck at reading, <laughs> if you suck at, in this, and I say suck in, with the most love, y'all know that. But if you suck at reading in real time, right? If you're not a good fake, like reader, but acting like you're not reading, this ain't for you. This tip is not for you. But if you're one of those people who can, you know, cold read easily and read off things, read off cute cards, you know, do it. But if you're one of the people that be like, uh, what did you say, Johnny? No, I did not know, Johnny. <laughs> like, just, just don't. Don't do it. Just just try to memorize it. Your best. Just do it your best. But what you cannot do is have a self-tape. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Farrah. What you... <laughs> Farrah, do you suck at reading or are you good at reading? I'm talking about reading across the wall. I just shared my, my pro tip. Like, tonight, tonight, where I have two auditions to tape tonight. And so, for the big chunks of dialogue, I print them out. It's on the opposite of this. And then I, Terrence is laughing at me. And then I tape them across the thing. But legit, some of y'all ain't good at reading. Some of y'all ain't good at reading in the moment where it doesn't look like you're reading paper. The key is to make whatever, wherever the paper is. So if this paper is here. This should be my person. You see what I mean? So I'll even draw some eyeballs on the paper. So at least I'm looking at some eyes. What's up, Destiny? Y'all laughing at me tonight. I'm dead ass serious. Some of y'all look like you're reading. Some of y'all look like you're reading when you're not reading, which is a bigger issue. Farrah says, I'm good, I think. You're making me nervous. <laughs> this is how you know. I shouldn't be able to tell that you're reading. So first, this is something you can practice. Each of you who feel like you don't know if you're good or not, this is the best way to do it. I want you to type, you could type five sentences, type type and print them out or just handwrite them. A lot of times I don't type them. I'll just get a Sharpie. Write the same thing on two pieces of paper. Tack them both to your wall. So I would put one on each side of me and take your camera out. You don't even have to have a tripod and just hold it out and read from both sheets. Now both sheets say the same thing. That can be two people. And you see how you can you can swap between both pages as two people if you have two people in your scene, right? Uh, Destiny says she's good at co-reading in her head. <laughs> yes, Nagi, I won't give you all my business, but that's like a 48 size font. Or you can do 72. And I don't just do paper. Like this is a short this is a short script. If it's one of them 12, 14 page scripts that's due the next day, those exist. I get poster board in new york we call it oak tag i don't know what in the south we call it poster boards so i don't know what everybody call it what do y'all call that stuff do you call it poster board or oak tag um but if that's the case nagi then i get the big sheet of paper and i write it really big but again sometimes if you have the if you have the luxury of self-taping do it in bits because if you have uh hey jasmine if you have four pages of monologue, which has happened to me, you're not going to get all that in one take. So you need to, sorry for the shaky camera. I don't have a thing. You need to just split it up, split it up. But what's unacceptable in a self tape in person is different. So in person, I always tell you guys come in with your paper. Even if you don't use it, have the paper there. But when you're at home self taping, you holding paper is unacceptable. 
because you have the opportunity to start, stop, edit. So why the heck you got paper in your hand? I don't care. Nobody cares that it came last minute. Nobody cares. They want to see a finished product, as much as a finished product that they can possibly see. Your job in a self-tape and in person is to create your environment. So this no longer is just a gray backdrop. This is a stadium. This is the kitchen. This is the dining room. This is a living room. This is the bathroom. It's whatever the scene requires. It's the front porch. You have to create that. And you, when you have paper in your hand, when you're taping, it takes that away. You cannot be fully present. So I'd rather you tape stuff against the wall and see it over there and put it in. Don't put it too high. Don't put it too low. You want to put it right where the person would be in your eye line. And when you're self-taping at home, you never you want to make sure that camera is at your eye line or just a little lower. Ladies especially, or any of us, we don't want no camera coming up here getting all that. Even those of us who are snatched, who have a, uh, that's just not a good look. And you don't want it too high. See all that forehead situation? We don't want that. And we don't want up under the nose. So it has to be right here or just shy of it. Okay. <laughs> oh, guys, it's been a good to connect with you guys. Again, I have to take two auditions tonight. My husband trying to get himself together. <laughs> Y'all, it's difficult having a spouse or a partner who is your required reader because it's hard on them because they have a long day. They just want to relax, sit down, have a beer, watch TV. And you like, uh, excuse me, uh, I need to tape these 10 pages. And they like... <laughs> Uh, let me just check these comments. I'm glad to see you guys. Uh, Terrence said, post the boards. You know, that's how we say it in the A. Yeah, I don't know. How y'all say it in South Carolina, Sheena? Y'all call that big piece of paper post board? In New York, we call it oak tag. I got used to saying post board from living in Atlanta, but I really want to say oak tag, but no one would understand. I want to hear what, what y'all, anybody from Chicago? I know I got a lot of Chicago folks. What y'all call that paper in Chicago? Destiny says, good tip. She's going to practice tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> hey david walker david shout out to david how'd your short film go david walker took the the uh, self-tape uh training I, I want you guys to take again it's free it's on youtube it's a five-part series but shout out to david walker who's now an hba member hollywood bound actors and he got him his sheet he got him his backdrop loving it hey cynthia um hey stephanie wilkinson i like your new demo reel stephanie hey denise <laughs> awesome hey sam how are you ne farrah says oak tag you okay farrah i know you live in new york but what do y'all call it what do you call it as a transplant what do y'all call it in canada so y'all trying to be shady we call it oak tag in new york we got to be an original new yorker though like you can't be like a transplant <laughs> sheena says it's called poster board in south carolina i'm waiting for what canadians call it Farah, can you please rep the Canadians? <laughs> Gwen, yes. I'm giving tips on the forehead, though. I love my forehead, but I also know I don't need to be shooting nothing like that. That's horrible. If you got a chubby neck, don't be shooting stuff like this. Nobody, it's not the neck show. It's not the forehead show. I love myself, but I also know what I'm working with, as should you. We all know what we're working with, right? So let's make sure we get ourselves at the best angles. And that's why practicing seeing yourself on camera and knowing what angles, you know, like even when we're taking selfies, you'd be like, oh, no, not that side, this side. It's the same thing for self-taping. If you know when you take selfies or friends, um, oh gosh, from Alabama, she said they call it poster. <laughs> Wendy is in the Cayman Islands. They call it poster boy. Really? I don't know why we call it oak tag in New York. I guess oak from the tree. I don't know. Um, Wendy says, <laughs> um, if you miss any part of this, I really am, I'm being light and airy and getting, I'm prepping myself to take some auditions in a little bit, but I really did give some good tips on when you are not memorized. We're in a busy season right now and it's just unacceptable for you to hold paper during a self tape. In person, it's fine. But also remember, even though it's in person, you are still working the camera. You're not working the room. Yeah, you're happy to be there in front of the casting director. But even if the casting director's office looked like this and had all this kinds of stuff back there, 
As soon as you walk in that room, you need to pick where your people are. Like you don't get to put post-it notes and little eyeballs to look at, right? And sometimes the reader is sitting down. Sometimes they're standing. If it's four people in your scene, like you got to quickly decipher. While you walk in the room, they're like, Christine Horney, like, "Uh uh-huh. And like, hi, how you doing? I'm like, oh, hi, I'm good, I'm good. While I'm saying I'm good and greeting them, having small talk, I'm looking at where in the room I'm going to place my characters. Where's the reader who's reading with me? Okay. Where's, okay, this is my chair. Am I going to sit? Am I going to stand? You know what I mean? And you're not locked into anything. You know, I had an audition uh, Friday in person here. And the character was sitting and standing in the scene. And they were taping me. It was in person. So the key is not to just jump up or sit down quick, you know? So if you are starting, it's in person and the chair is there because the, the first part of the scene is in the chair, fine, start there. But when you know it's time to get up, don't pop up. You kind of have this thing where you ease up. And that way the person holding the tripod filming you in the audition can move with you. And that same tip works on set. I learned that on Complications um, when I shot that. Had a really good uh, relationship with one of the camera guys. All right. Let me wrap up here. The jury clearly has been decided that everybody calls it poster board (laughs) or posta in Alabama. I kind of like that. Give me some posta. So yeah, sometimes you need to write your lines on poster, but that's what, if you need to write, uh, uh, <laughs> Cynthia said, be sure your nose is clean too. Like literally and figuratively. Absolutely. Um, okay. Now Sheena backtracking. She's saying they say it poster too in South Carolina, which is it Sheena? Is it poster board or poster? <laughs> oh gosh. Terrence is laughing at y'all on that poster. And I like it. It ends with a T-A-H. All right. Awesome. Well, it was so good connecting with you guys tonight. I am going to get ready to tape. Got send prayers to my husband because he don't feel like it, but he'll be all right, won't he? We, we, send, we send prayers to those who support us and we are grateful for them and we got to work around their schedule, their moods. You got to catch people at good times or you pay somebody else to do it. That's just what it is. So I'm going to leave you with that. Just know... <laughs> to say we country just know this i want to leave you a bit of a word of encouragement these weeks as of if three days pass and you haven't had anything pop in your inbox to tape or do i want you to start doing some of the, these things on your own just like the tip i gave you tonight practice cold reading practice taping yourself reading something you've never read before by writing it or typing it out on two pieces of paper And see, can you tape yourself and not look like you're reading? That will save you when you have a 10-page audition due the next day. And, you know, people want to see as much of a performance as possible. You know what I mean? You have to use this time. You know, don't get complacent. The time when an audition arrives is not the time to rehearse. That isn't the wrong time. Because you have so many other things going on. Figuring out clothes, hair, character, memorization. You have too many other things to think about than, oh, do I know how to do this one thing or something else like that, right? So um, thank you, Wendy. Looking forward to seeing you too. Um, But, you know, Wendy just said she spent a lot in her studio. (laughs) Listen, you know, your studio at home is one of your best investments. It will pay you back beyond Oh, checking my emails, checking the emails. And that's another thing too. Y'all be on the lookout for these emails from your team. Set alerts, make sure those emails come through quickly. Your agents, your rep, your managers, casting directors, they need quick, quick, quick turnarounds. They need quick responses um, and just be ready to go. So I'm going to get to work so that I can have some time tonight to chill before I shoot tomorrow. More more uh, details on that as I'm able to share. But have an amazing night. Don't give up. For those of you who had a chance to watch the SAG Awards, I was so inspired by the SAG Awards yesterday. I love, out of all the award shows, the SAG Awards are actually my favorite, more than the Golden Globes and the Oscars even, because it's actors, it's actors shining light on other actors. You know, when I get to vote, It's just like, it's just a beautiful thing. We all know what this industry is like. We all know what we've been through. And to celebrate each other is a wonderful thing. So even though I was in the audience this year, 
it was beautiful. So I'm carrying that motivation with me into my week. Have an amazing time, um, amazing night, excuse me. And again, if something is pressing, today was an open office hours. Um, I didn't, I haven't logged onto the thread to see, but if a question is burning inside of you, or you something you're working on this week, you want a little clarity on, leave a comment below on this thread, tag me, and I'll take the next couple of days to respond to some things. In the meantime, have an amazing night. Stay beautiful. Stay fabulous. You have a gift that the world needs to see. Don't be complacent. Be courageous. You can do it. You can do it. Good night.